A wintering herd of elk in Fort Hall has been moved from one side of I-15 to the other. Local News 8 reporter Braden Wilson shows us how multiple agencies work together to move the herds. Early Sunday morning, multiple agencies from the Shoshone Bannock tribes and state of Idaho came together to help convince an elk herd it was time to move on. The wintering herd spent the season in the fields near Fort Hall. In a coordinated effort between state police and tribal emergency management, law enforcement joined by state fishing game and tribal fishing game worked to move them safely across the highway. Our hardest component was the elk. Um, you know, they did get nervous, but it took a little bit, but then uh, they cooperated with us as well. State police blocked I-15 from mile post 73 to mile post 84 and held off motorists so the elk could pass. We had two herds, uh, one south of exit 80. Uh, that herd was about 150. We worked on it first. Um, they went over fairly smoothly. We had a second herd uh, that was north of exit 80. Uh, that herd was about 389 animals, and it took us a little bit longer just because of the herd size, uh, but everything was pretty successful. Uh, we got everything pushed to the east side. Now that the herd of elk has been pushed to the other side of the interstate, officials believe they should stay there and move back towards the mountains for spring. I believe that they're gonna go ahead and stick where they're at. Our office will be monitoring them to make sure that they do stay back. Um, but given that we are getting warmer temperatures, things will start to open up for them and hopefully they'll be able to move back. Um, they will be starting calving within another month or so. And I think that was another reason for them to, to want to push across. But God willing, uh, everything will be good for this year. In Fort Hall, I'm Braden Wilson.